ever wondered about the significance of Jesus turning water into wine in the Bible? This powerful event found in the second chapter of the Gospel of John is not just a tale of a miraculous feat, but a story packed with profound symbolism and deeper meanings. The story unfolds at a wedding feast in Cana, where Jesus, his mother, and his disciples are guests. When the wine runs out, Jesus is approached by his mother Mary, who simply states, they have no wine. Jesus responds, stating that his time has not yet come. Despite this, Mary instructs the servants to do whatever Jesus tells them to do. Six stone jars are present, each capable of holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus instructs the servants to fill these jars with water. When they do, he tells them to draw some out and take it to the master of the feast. Upon tasting the water that had become wine, the master of the feast praises its quality, not knowing where it came from. At a surface level, this event showcases Jesus' divine power, performing a miracle by turning water into wine. But diving deeper, we can unearth layers of symbolic meanings. First, the setting of a wedding feast is significant. Weddings are a time of celebration and joy, and wine is often associated with joy in the Bible. The fact that Jesus chose a wedding to perform his first miracle underscores his desire to bring joy and fulfillment into our lives. Second, the transformation of water into wine symbolizes the transformative power of faith. The servants who filled the jars with water acted out of obedience and faith in Jesus. Their faith, coupled with Jesus' divine power, resulted in a miraculous transformation. This serves as a reminder that faith in Jesus can bring about profound transformations in our own lives. Third, the quality of the wine is noteworthy. The master of the feast praises the wine made by Jesus as superior to what was served earlier. This highlights that what Jesus offers is not just a transformation, but an improvement, a betterment. It underscores the message that life with Jesus is not just different, but better. Lastly, the use of stone jars, typically used for Jewish purification rites, is symbolic. By turning the water in these jars into wine, Jesus was perhaps indicating a transformation from the old covenant of law, represented by the purification rites, to the new covenant of grace, represented by the wine. To summarize, the event where Jesus turns water into wine in the Bible is a rich tapestry of symbolism and deeper meanings. It's not just a miracle story, but a powerful message about the joy, transformation, and improvement that faith in Jesus can bring. It also signifies the transition from the old covenant of law to the new covenant of grace. So the next time you come across this story, remember there's more to it than meets the eye, a deeper meaning waiting to be discovered.